Unlike its predecessor, all second-generation Santa Fe's are full-blooded Koreans. As operating experience has shown, this model has no problems with corrosion resistance, but there are still some comments on body parts, see photo. The failure of the remote opening button of the central lock on the left outer door handle was also noted, post-styling cars from 2010. Please note, Santa Fe are 5 and 7-seater with additional folding seats in the trunk, the most expensive versions. Moreover, more spacious cars are not uncommon, and thanks to the large size of the car, even adult passengers can sit in the third row. We have already said that one of the important advantages of this model is generous, minced meat, and such pleasant options as climate and cruise control, a multifunction steering wheel, at least six airbags, heated mirrors and seats, parking sensors, electric windows and mirrors, rather the rule than the exception to it. The eye of the owners of post-styling versions will be pleased with the Optitron instrument panel, previously it was normal. On the second row of seats there is enough space for three large passengers. The comfort of landing is increased by adjustable backrests and an almost flat floor. But on the third row it is more convenient for people with growth not above average. In general, the Santa Fe interior was made with sufficient quality, although some weaknesses were still identified during operation. Leather trim comes in black and beige. The latter looks more spectacular, but requires more careful handling and periodic cleanings. So long. The quality of the interior trim is good, with the exception of the steering wheel. The upholstery is durable. During lateral maneuvers, visibility is limited by the left A-pillar. The center clutch is blocked forcibly using a button. Based on dry mathematical numbers, the luggage compartment of the crossover with a volume of 775-1580 liters is small compared to competitors, but in general it can easily cope with various economic tasks. For example, transporting a large two-chamber refrigerator inside is not a problem. You can criticize the car only because the creators have deprived it of the convenient design inherent in its predecessor, a separately opening rear window. The Santa Fe trunk is roomy, but small compared to competitors, 775-1580 liters versus 965-1750 liters for the Kia Sorento and 952-2020 liters for the Sanyong Rexton. And with the third row of seats, it is purely conditional. Engine. Savings or reliability. The most widely used Santa Fe with a 2.7-liter gasoline engine and a 2.2-liter turbo diesel. Gasoline, 2.4 and 3.5 liters appeared at the end of the production of this model and are quite rare in our area. During operation, the top-end 2.7-liter engine turned out to be more reliable. Individual ignition coils and a proprietary variable valve timing system for this unit, as a rule, serve without problems. Due to the considerable fuel consumption, in the city about 14 liters per hundred, many owners of 2.7-liter versions install gas equipment. According to the service workers, with a quality job, this unit works very well on gas. But the 2.2-liter turbo diesel unit is able to present more trouble. So, its nozzles are sensitive to fuel quality. The left diesel fuel can quickly disable these nodes. As practice has shown, glow plugs are not too durable either. On average they serve 60 to 80,000 kilometers. Moreover, with their replacement, difficulties often arise, in the worst case. You have to remove the cylinder head and drill out a boiled can. Santa Fe confidently copes with snowy roads, sandy, and small mud areas. But it is worth considering, this is not an SUV, and serious off-road this car is not up to the task. It is also possible that the glow plug relay failed. A crankshaft pulley with a damper clutch may become unusable after 80,000 kilometers. On cars of the first years of production, 2006 to 2008, there were cases of failure of the injection pump fuel pumps, later they were modernized, and they serve without problems. Typical problems inherent in both of the aforementioned units, start or failure, leakage of the front crankshaft oil seal and engine pan are possible. The timing of all engines of 2.7 liters and 2.2 liters, until 2010, is equipped with a belt that must be changed along with the rollers every 60,000 kilometers. During the restyling of 2010, the 2.2-liter turbo diesel was upgraded, it became more powerful by 42 horsepower S, and the timing received a durable metal chain. Transmission. Its difference unlike its predecessor, endowed with the best off-road arsenal, permanent all-wheel drive with the center viscous coupling and a self-locking diff in the rear axle, the second-generation Santa Fe is equipped with a plug-in all-wheel drive, 
the front wheels are activated when the front wheels slip using an electronically controlled center clutch. If necessary, to overcome difficult sections of roads, it can be forcibly blocked using the button. This crossover does not have any other off-road equipment, although, as the owners of Santa Fe assure, it feels quite confident outside of hard asphalt roads. Notes on the transmission, with runs over 80,000 kilometers, the rear gearbox cover may leak and the drive shaft outboard bearing may become unusable. It's good that the bearing is changed separately. The car was aggregated with mechanical and automatic transmissions. In the mechanics, combined with turbo diesel engines, the dual mass flywheel does not differ in durability, it can become unusable by 70,000 kilometers. At a given mileage in all mechanical gearboxes, axle shaft seals can leak. In the machines, a leak of the oil pan and oil cooling radiator hoses was noted. A characteristic problem inherent in both types of gearboxes is the failure of the right axle shaft bearing at high mileage, more than 100,000 kilometers. Moreover, if it is not replaced in a timely manner, then the spline connection of the inner and outer parts of the axle shaft is broken, and in this case it is already necessary to change the entire assembly. Suspension Both Santa Fe suspensions are independent with anti-roll bars, the front one is McPherson, and the multi-link is installed at the rear. A serviceable chassis is moderately stiff, and the car shakes a little on bumps. But at high speed, with fast lane changes and in corners, the suspension holds a tall car quite well. The weak points of the front end are the support bearings of the front struts, they can become unusable already at 40 to 50,000 kilometers, and shock absorbers, especially the front ones, wear out at 15 to 30,000 kilometers. At the end of the model release in 2012, the manufacturer upgraded the shock absorbers, and now they last longer, 80 to 100,000 kilometers. On pre-styling cars, wheel bearings also do not differ in durability they can become unusable already at 50,000 kilometers. The situation is aggravated by the fact that they change together with the hubs. In 2010, the bearings were modernized, and they became more reliable. In the seven-seater versions, rear shock absorbers are used with a variable degree of rigidity, which on our roads can become unusable by 70 to 80,000 kilometers. They cost about three times more than regular ones, so owners often change them to regular shock absorbers paired with stiffer rear springs. Many suspension parts have a good resource. Ball bearings serve 80 to 100,000 kilometers, silent blocks of the front levers, 100 to 150,000 kilometers, and the rear, multi-link, about 150,000 kilometers. But the bushings of the front stabilizer go about 40,000 kilometers, rear, 70,000 kilometers, racks, 60 to 70,000 kilometers, rear, 70 to 80,000 kilometers. Reduces the cost of suspension repair that many consumables are changed separately. Steering. It can disturb the steering, equipped with power steering, where the rack bushing is noted, at 70 to 80,000 kilometers, and the rack oil seals may also leak. In this situation, the only good thing is that the rail is maintainable. Brake system. There are also comments on the brake system. There was a knock on the rear calipers, they require periodic lubrication of the guides, as well as a failure of the brake light on slash-off switch, which domestic dealers change for free at the expense of the manufacturer. In general, the quality of interior trim is not bad. The only remark is that over time, the paint is wiped off the leather trim of the steering wheel. Typical problems with interior equipment are associated with the branded radio, it may not turn on or turn off spontaneously, switch to navigation mode, or the display may completely go out. The windshield can crack in the area of backslash U200B backslash U200B heated wipers, this usually happens in winter, in cold weather. As a rule, the paint peels off on the decorative lining of the front and rear bumpers of post-styling cars since 2010, 